go, an iPhone 6S. Now, this is actually a really important video because we have this camera. I have a second camera, which is literally just the iPhone 8 I made a video about. But if you want to see that video, click the link down in the description so you can watch that later. Basically, this is an iPhone 6S. It is only 16 gigabytes, but it's in gold. So I think we should open the box and see what I actually got with it. Got that Apple unboxing and the phone on top. And inside, some documentation, which is sort of Apple stickers. Has the basics of the phone and info. That's useless. And yeah, nothing in it, basically. And now we have the phone. It is in this really hard to get off like otter box case which is really fun um but yeah it is a very looks very clean it has kind of a weird shape here which i think that is actually from the case so i can try and get that off yeah i got that off and let's set it up now that we've got this set up we can open it up so we have some stuff installed on it but i want to see how well it performs so first we can scroll through some things um, one, I did make a separate iCloud account for all these other devices and call it Hero 921 Extra. So if you guys are wondering, no, I'm not deciding to show you guys my name. It's just called a different name. Um, and about, it is, I renamed it Gold iPhone 6S because I have a bunch of phones. And I think it'd be nice to actually be able to tell which phone is which. Um, it is an iPhone 6S on iOS 15.7.3. So that's the latest it can go on. Um, coverage expired, no, duh. And then, looks like it's nothing, it's only, again, 16 gigs, and it only has 1.67 gigs available, tied to T-Mobile. Um, yeah, SIM locked. Alright, well, I wasn't really planning on doing anything with it. Making sure that SIM, yep, it is on the latest, it can be on. Um, yeah, iPhone storage, what's taking up so much? I'm gonna bet you anything it's iOS, because iOS takes up about 10 gigs, and on these phones, Yep, I was taking up like, yeah. But that's what I see up 3.1 gigabytes? God, I wonder how much that's taking up my computer. Anyway, um, it's a pretty basic. Um, if you go into battery, you can tell that this guy has 89% health, which isn't terrible for a phone that's estimated purchase date was somewhere in 2015 or 2016. So that's not bad at all. And this phone isn't terrible. Um, obviously, only charged recently. I haven't used it much. Gone to the app store and downloaded a few things. Um, but yeah, it's very basic. It Cupertino because it doesn't have access to weather. But um, it just like this phone could be used by someone. This, you could be using this phone right now. I've got some games and stuff on it, so I think it's time we test them out. First thing, YouTube. Okay, now we have YouTube signed out. It's literally just everything else. So let's see what media consumption in this device is. So you gotta go to the best YouTube channel in the, in the world. Of course, here I'm 921. And this was filmed a week ago after you guys see this. Um, the video that was out last week is not out. But anyway, let's see what's happening with my Android 3 So let's start by saying something. I'm a noob. I have never 3D printed That's loud. <laughs> Oh, shoot. Oh, it's got my old intro. It's not terrible. Um, you can tell it's a 60 hertz display, but, you know, even current lower-end iPhones have that. Is the volume all the way off? The only time I've done it before was at my school, but my friend has... Okay, so there's a glitch in this video. I don't know if that's on everyone's now, comment do down below if that is, but it doesn't look terrible. The, the display is quite obviously LCD. Um, it's quite obviously not the best. I mean, it's nine years old. That's pretty old for a phone that's still supported. And I'm pretty sure I did my math right. But that looks pretty good. And maybe we can look at some shorts. Um, uh, what's this? You see this? This video from Marcus Browning talking about the removal of a dislike counter? has 30,000 dislikes. But how did I get this information? And how can you? Well, the easiest way to get this shown on the Yep. That is a very good audio. Like, that's very crisp, very nice. Um, channels and stuff. About... This would be very good for some... 
Bruh, I didn't, I forgot I posted that. <laughs> anyway, um, but, I mean, you don't just have to browse my channel. Click the wrong button. You could browse Marquez Burnley's channel. Can't spell. Or you could browse, like, some other channel. Mr. The Boss or anything like that. But now I think let's go to a little more intensive things. Let's try Asphalt Mine. There we go. We have it going, because that took a really, really long time. So is this auto set to touch drive? I don't know. We'll find that out. Also, by the way, if you couldn't tell, my parents are literally making dinner right now. So that's, like, great timing. Um, This is playable with, with the long loading time. It's not super. Okay, now, then it just lagged. Ooh, 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 ooh. And we're boosting. Yeah, this is definitely playable. Whether you want to, that depends on you. And if you're a big like PC elitist, who, if you care about actually getting like 120 hertz in a fast uh, phone, this is not the phone for you. But if you all you care about is getting, you know, your Facebook up and I mean decent battery life and FaceTiming your friends and texting them, like this isn't a terrible phone for that. And I have just beat this game in Asphalt Mine. Um, again, like, it, this is no gaming powerhouse. You're not buying an iPhone 6S and being like, Ooh, I want an amazing phone. I'm gonna buy an iPhone 6S. That sounds like an amazing idea. No, you, if you want a good phone, you're gonna buy an iPhone 14. If you want an iPhone. I mean, who knows, if you want a Samsung, okay, you're gonna buy an S23 Ultra. But now I think let's go for a more static approach one where it just runs so i have geekbench ml loaded up on here um and i say we run a cpu benchmark from what we can all tell this phone is no powerhouse this is taking really long time to run this stupid benchmark um so let's wait for that to load. yeah i was kind of done i just ran the test because i didn't do it in the video and it took about 17 minutes to render these results. Not powerful. Alright, now we're going to try a new game. This is a game that I've been playing for a little bit with my little brother. It's called Mech Arena. Um, and it basically, you're a mech. This is actually pretty decent. This game is like actually like multiplayer online. It's online multiplayer, not multiplayer online. But like I can, they can play. This is not bad. This isn't. I mean, with an iPhone 6s, you're only getting a 4.7 inch display, so it's not the easiest to see the game you're playing. But it's not that hard to play. Like this is, you could potentially play this and win the match, which I probably am about to do. I'm not going to. I, you can't tell. I have zero patience. Basically, we have that. And there's one last thing I want to show you. This is an app that basically just tests the GPS, or I don't have GPS turned on right now, but it takes a lot of power I've found, but it's really cool. And this I will have linked below because it's actually a sick app. Exit out of there, shut up. This will show you every single flight anywhere in the world. So if you, and this is uh, the week ago for you guys, I'm filming this on the 25th. Shut up. But you scroll in, we can see like this plane's flying from Madrid, I'm assuming, to I don't know where that is. Looks like, I want to say Chile or Chile. No, don't know where that is. Um, this plane's flying from I want to say I think that's Lisbon to still don't know where that is. I'm trying to find one that's flying somewhere near. Where I don't know. Um, let's try DC. Uh, come on. Alright. This, okay. This plane's flying from Putsakana to Maryland. Baltimore. And you can actually see, like, when it's scheduled. This isn't an ad, obviously. 
but it does take a lot of power so it has to render up all these different flights like it has to do all that and these are like these are only the active flights the only active ones that are currently going you see i feel bad for ukraine like support ukraine guys i'll leave a link for that down below but like in you over ukraine there's like none it's like they're like they're vacating the airspace which makes sense because russia's trying to bomb ukraine you don't want to be in ukraine because you could be bombed but like you can see very obviously there is no one flying over ukraine because they don't feel like getting bombed which is legitimate anyway this phone is very useful like Again, like I said, if you want a gaming powerhouse, you want that 120 hertz, you want that amazing display, you want that Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, this is not the phone for you. That rhymes. But if you just need a phone to browse YouTube, browse Facebook, and maybe text your parents, this is a good phone. This is a phone that I could recommend. It doesn't have the most amazing battery life, but, I mean, battery replacements aren't that expensive on this phone. Maybe, like, 50 bucks. And this phone is maybe 50 bucks. So you can get a pretty well-working phone for 100 That's well worth it to me. Obviously, I won't be replacing my 14 Pro for this. But if I had to, this wouldn't be that bad. It's not that much of a step down for my 7, which I used to have to use because I had no choice. But if you guys enjoyed this video and you enjoy browsing, you can browse and smack the subscribe button while you're on this phone. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.